What's going on guys, Steve here. And before I get my video started, I wanna invite you over to my channel, Cool Nerd Show. If you are into all the DC TV shows, if you're into superheroes, comic books, anything nerdy, uh, we do a lot of videos. We put videos out weekly. We have a live podcast every week. So head on over to our channel, check everything out, and please subscribe. Today I'm going to be reviewing Arrow Season 5 Episode 17 entitled Capucian. So this episode had a series of very high highs and very low lows, or at least in my opinion. Every scene that we saw in present day, I absolutely loved. I thought it was dark, I thought it was great, I thought it was what Arrow was missing. However, it balanced out with the flashbacks. It's really hard to get me interested in the flashbacks when we know what's going to happen already. Like We know... Anatoly survives. We know Oliver survives. We know that none of this is really going to matter. And for that, to have an episode that is 80% flashback, I really didn't like. Don't get me wrong, when we go back to the present and we have the torture scenes with Adrian Chase and he's trying to break Oliver, I thought those scenes were great. I thought it was some of the best scenes in the season or even in the series, but they really balanced it out with the flashbacks, in my opinion. I feel like they tr kind of tried to hide the fact that it was like an 80% filler episode with all of these flashbacks. And to me, I just felt that that was kind of pleasing. So the whole episode, Adrian Chase, or Simon Morrison, as his real name is, and we found out the past couple episodes, is trying to break down Oliver to get him to admit that he enjoys killing. But Oliver doesn't know this, and he doesn't know what Adrian's trying to get him to admit. So he's torturing him, and he's torturing him throughout the entire episode. He shoots arrows in him, he threatens his son, he kills Evelyn, but not really. We find out she's actually alive. And then in the end, he even burns off his Bratva tattoo. All of this is fantastic. All of this is great. I love it. Then we get the flashbacks, which is most of the episode. I just wasn't into them. I can't follow the flashbacks. I don't really care. The flashbacks for me haven't been entertaining since season two, and they just get worse and worse. This season's a little bit better than the past couple seasons. But you have such a good episode here. And for me, I didn't fall for the, hey, we're going to start with Chase. We're going to end with Chase. We're going to cover up everything in between with flashbacks. I feel like that's really what they did with this episode. But Chase did a good job breaking him down. And they did have some good connections with the flashbacks too. Especially in the end when Anatoly tells him that he enjoys killing. And this is just an excuse that he's making for himself. It's the good connection to what happens when he finally admits it to Chase. It means kind of that he's been living like this for the past five to ten years and not really admitting to himself why he's doing what he's doing the thing that i did like about the flashbacks is we actually see oliver change from oliver queen into the green arrow especially when he kills one of kovar's men he then kills kovar later on too and he's using the green arrow as a front so that he can go out and kill people basically kind of lying to himself so that was the overall message of the episode and i got that and i thought that that was delivered very well but for the episode, I could really do without flashbacks. I can't wait to see what's going to happen next season when there are no more flashbacks because it just really takes me out of the episode when we get these flashbacks that don't really mean anything and we know how everything's going to turn out. And a lot of times they feel forced. That's what I feel anyway. I wonder what you guys feel. I know a lot of people really liked this episode. So please sound off in the comments below. I will do my best to respond. If you like this video, it would mean a lot to me if you give a big thumbs up. And please head on over to our channel. Check out all of our other videos that we do on the DC TV shows, comic books, all nerdy kinds of stuff. Head on over there. Check it out. And hopefully I will see you on all of my other videos.